I'm Amy, and I've been working with Cole, James, Sydney, and Tim Vika on the Gripper project this semester. We focused on improving on our Gripper prototype from the fall semester. And so we made the entire Gripper assembly smaller with a smaller claw and a shorter arm. Also, we added a locking mechanism to keep the arm stored parallel to the belly pan with a permanent electromagnet system. We optimized the design and placement of components, including multiple claws instead of just one and more modular claws. Our gripper can also detect whether it has the object in the claw with the limit switch. And now James will talk about the gripper design evolution. All right. So on the bottom left, you can see our design from last semester. And on the top left, you see our design from this semester. Obviously, we have made some changes to the gripper, but the designs function in similar ways. The arm is directly powered by a servo, allowing it to rotate up and down. And the claw opening actuation is driven by a servo with a pulley with string attached to it. The claws are pulled closed with surgical tubing. You can also see the improvements that Amy mentioned. Each individual part is significantly smaller than the previous version, making the gripper lighter and a lot less bulky. The claws are modular with mounting holes allowing for different end effectors for different objects to be printed and used on the gripper. The claws also feature limit switches, allowing us to detect when we have an object clamped in the gripper. For this design, we also opted to use two claws rather than one giving us a wider grip with more gripper with more tolerance and lining up. And now Tanvika is going to talk about some of our next steps. Yeah, so as we have developed a prototype for a gripper claw, we would want to test it on different objects so it functions with whatever our next challenge throws us. This could mean adding creepy surfaces or simply changing the shape of our claw. Also, one of the problems that we're seeing with our current prototype is the amount of torque needed to pull open the mechanism might be greater than necessary, and therefore requiring much more power needed. To solve this problem, we may end up modifying parts of the design to reduce torque, or we consider using a string-powered mechanism. Finally, we want to test our gripper to see what needs to be modified looking forward. This consists of te testing our electromagnet or latching mechanism, or testing our gripper with expected game moments and testing it underwater. Finally, we would like to under, understand and determine the impact of the gripper moving around on the position and state of the robot. 